Hello everyone. In this video, we can see how efficiently we can handle shipping methods with our Odoo app. Odoo can handle various delivery methods but it is not activated by default. Delivery methods are used for your sale order, your deliveries and but also on e-commerce too. This app helps the user to create a product based on shipping and delivery charges. It will automatically calculate the shipping cost according to the selected shipping method on that particular product. For creating a new shipping method, we need to get into a sales. The configuration you can see a shipping methods. So these are the shipping methods which are already created. Among this, this is the one which I have created. Let me get into that. For each and every shipment method, we need to uh, assign a delivery product here, which I have created. At the time of creating an, a delivery product, we need to mention a product type as in service. You can see the product type I have mentioned here is in service. Then we need to add a provider name and also an integration level as well. Once the shipping method is created in this way, we need to publish this into a website. At the same time, we need to add a, sh a shipping method into the products. So for that, we need to get into the product, product again. And here you can see for this product, I have already added that um, particular shipping method. So once I get into that product, under inventory, you can see a delivery option. So there we, I will add it and one of the delivery method here. So let me check a quick sample. So for that, we need to get into a sale order. So for that here, you can see an order under that you can see the quotation. So let me create a new sale order. So here we need to mention an customer name. And by adding an add a line of the product, you can add a new product. So I have added an uh, delivery charges for two products. So here I will choose the, those two products here. And the next one is in drawer. So after selecting these two products, we need to add a shipping for these two products. So for that here you can see an add shipping option. So after selecting an add shipping option, this wizard will be popped up. So then we need to select a DHT which I have already created one. So here you can see a get rate. So once I click on the get rate, so here we need to add and delivery methods of the particular product, which is a normal delivery and this I have chosen as in the, the posting. So once everything is done, I need to check the delivery price of it. So by uh, here you can see an additional line will be added for delivery charge. And once I have confirmed this order, it will create a delivery order for those two products which we have created. Here you can here we have added right. So for those two, it will automatically create a delivery. So once I get into that, for each product, it will create a separate delivery order. And when we get into an additional info, it will show a carrier. Okay. So for next order, it will show as the next carrier which we have already made. So this is how it works in our sale order. So the same thing we can do it in our website too. So for for apply this particular uh, options under the website. So we need to get into the settings. We need to did some configuration there. So for that we need to go to the settings under settings you can see an website so on website you can see an option called is allow which allow shipping for the product on a website page 
so then let me get into the website again you can see the website here so let me get into the website So here you can see a shop. So once I get into it, let me select a dryer here, which I have added a shipping methods in that particular product. So by clicking on an add to the cart option, then again a process checkout. So here you can see the delivery methods will be displayed here. So among this, you can choose anyone. So based on here, you can see the delivery charges is a free delivery charge. It will be in the amounted as zero. So if it is a posted, you can see the amount will be changed automatically. You can see the result of it. So once everything is done, I'm going to pay this particular product. So you can see the delivery charges with the help of the delivery charges. It will automatically calculate the subtotal also. So in this way, we can make your shipping method much easier using our app. Thanks for watching.